Riddle me this, where can you get a quality education, but only if you're willing to run the rat race for power? What's the answer? Well, Harley and the gang, to find that out, are going to have to go back to school. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to an all new Cross and Streams. As always, I am your host, the real Gino, Gino Reynolds. And today, we're going to be continuing our look at the DC Universe's Harley Quinn series. Uh, this time, Season 2, Episode 2, entitled, Riddle You. Um, Gotham, uh, at the beginning of this episode, has no power. Uh, and no clean water. And Harley is none too happy about this. Because without these things, she doesn't feel she can effectively plan her uh, takeover of Gotham. Uh, then all of a sudden, over a big screen on a building, the Riddler makes an announcement that, hey, where can you find clean water? And where can you find power? Only at Riddle U, uh, the local college which he has taken over and renamed. Uh, Harley decides that, well, the Riddler is the next to die. Uh, and that they are going to have to infiltrate the college by going undercover as students. Uh, Clayface wants to go, uh, but they won't let him. Uh, even though he seems to already have a, a character in mind. Uh, Dr. Psycho and King Shark, on the other hand, are sent out to find a water filter so they can get some clean water that, uh, doesn't, that, that isn't going to kill them. Uh, we go to the college and Kite Man... Uh, who makes his triumphant return, uh, helps to sneak Harley and Ivy onto the college grounds, um, where they end up on a guided tour. Uh, it turns out, though, that even though Harley said he couldn't go, Clayface comes on the mission on his own, and he's already disguised as a college student named Stephanie. And Stephanie seems to be really popular. And as the episode goes on, uh, Stephanie seems to be Clayface's greatest role and he's almost losing himself in the role uh, to a lot of different college things. Um, while Dr. Psycho and King Shark, uh, we, go, we go back to them and they have no trouble finding a water filter. That being said, the trip back ends up being a bit more, we'll just say exciting. Because um, first they are confronted by uh, Two Faces goons, and probably my favorite, one of my favorite jokes of the episodes, anyway. Uh, Two Faces goons have uh, the typewriter guns, the Tommy guns, and uh, <laughs> Doctor Psycho calls the goons "dickhead Tracy." I just thought that was hilarious. Um, it's just a fun play on words for me. I loved it. And he's like, "Why do they call them typewriter guns?" And King Shark's like, "Well, they call them typewriter guns because when they fire, they sound like typewriters, and, they, and then they get." get fired upon and he's like oh yeah they kind of do uh so that was kind of funny um so uh harley uh on the college campus sends clayface to get intel uh on where they can find the riddler uh while they snoop around uh the thing is though uh they easily find the riddler they're just like where where do we even start oh look there he is uh they see him walking on the grounds or so they think it ends up being uh, the school mascot, which they discover, of course, after beating the crap out of him. Um, this leads to Harley's makeup coming off, and uh, she is discovered uh, by the girl that's their tour guide. Uh, Harley tries to chase the tour guide down, uh, but the tour guide is surprisingly agile and, and is able to outrun Harley. Uh, and this, of course, led me to believe that the tour guide is going to be someone special, uh, she had red hair, and I'm like, I wonder if this is going to be Barbara Gordon, uh, of course, a.k.a. the future Batgirl. Um, they go to the girl's dorm and confront her, and of course, they do find out that she is, in fact, Barbara Gordon. Uh, and she's obviously obsessed with Batman. She has tons of Batman posters and stuff in her dorm. Um, but she tells them, no, she's not going to rat them out to the Riddler, that she is looking for a way to take out the Riddler. Uh, she tells them that students are disappearing and the Riddler is behind it. Uh, we then find out that Commissioner Gordon uh, is staying with his daughter in her dorm. Uh, I guess he kind of snuck in there uh, while she was away. Uh, but he's pretty clueless uh, to his daughter's activities. She has uh, 
like conspiracy maps and stuff behind her posters and everything. Uh, he knows nothing about this. He's too busy drinking uh, in the shower. Um, uh, it turns out that Barbara has access to a party where they can begin their investigation of the missing students, but Harley and Ivy decide to just take the invitations and leave. Uh, Dr. Psycho and King Shark, uh, meanwhile, make their escape uh, from Two-Face's goons, creating what they call their Mega Death Car. It's got a Tommy gun on it, uh, or a, uh, a feed machine gun, like chain gun on top of it, a uh, big metal spike. It, it's their Mega Death Car. Um, meanwhile, back at the college, Clayface is having all sorts of college problems, so to speak. Uh, but somehow, he got VIP access to the party, which is where the Riddler ends up being. Uh, so Harley and Ivy send Clayface into the VIP section to find him because he's the only one with access. They try to get in, but they're not allowed in. Uh, back at Barbara's dorm, uh, of course, Gordon is just continuing to rot away. Uh, and Barbara gets a bit inspired to, uh, go search for the Riddler. Kind of, in a way, start to become the bat, so to speak. Um... Harley and Ivy, uh, not so stealthily sneak their way back to the VIP area. Thank you, Beer Pong. Um, they find the students, along with Clayface, uh, running on giant hamster wheels, which is creating all the electricity for Riddle U. Uh, of course, the Riddler, uh, because he's smart, easily identifies them, uh, and is able to capture them for his machine. Uh, back with Dr. Psycho and King Shark, they get away from Two-Face's goons and they think they're in the clear, but it turns out they are in Bane's territory now. Uh, Bainton, I think it was called. Uh, the Mega Death Car, let's just say it's no match for the Venom-injected goons. Uh, back at the Riddler's lair, uh, Barbara Gordon shows up to confront the Riddler, uh, and ends up freeing all the students. Uh, in a not-so-Batman kind of way. Uh, Harley and the gang uh, take down the rest of the goons uh, easy enough once the Riddler is incapacitated. Uh, Ivy says to Barbara she wants to take, uh, she wants to go along and take the Riddler to Arkham, but uh, Ivy tells uh, them that, or tells Barbara that they'll take the Riddler to, to Arkham. It's, it's no problem. We'll take care of it. Uh, but they really have other plans for him. They take him back to the mall and make the Riddler run the hamster wheel to power the mall. Um, and of course, uh, King Shark and Dr. Psycho come back and you can tell they've been through hell uh, to get this water filter. But it turns out once the electricity is back on, the water start running clear. So Harley just breaks the water filter and... Uh, and much of the chagrin of the duo. Uh, the girls, uh, begin to discuss what will happen to Barbara. And they're like, oh, she'll probably finish college and nothing spectacular. And Holly's like, you know, I think we might have awakened something inside of her. And sure enough, uh, we then go see Barbara, uh, sewing her own bat suit and leaving her father at the dorm to apparently, uh, probably go fight crime. Um, I really dug the heck out of this episode. Uh, the King Shark and Dr. Psycho scenes are hilarious. Uh, the stuff at the college, I love seeing Clayface being very useful. He's, he, the way he's acting, he's still acting pretty silly, but the way he's acting fits in perfectly with the college girl persona. And the fact that he's getting so invested in the character, he's almost losing himself in the character. Uh, that stuff's pretty funny. Uh, the story of the missing students and everything, I mean, that stuff was fine. Uh, but I think, uh, introducing Barbara Gordon, uh, they're adding, uh, Batgirl to the mix, uh, which will be interesting. Uh, and then of course the stuff, uh, with King Shark and Dr. Psycho's hilarious. Um, the stuff with Harley and everything, it, it's, it's just pretty much a standard episode with, with Harley and Ivy. Uh, but I did really still enjoy it because everything, it was fine, but everything around it. Uh, is what was making it even more interesting. So it is a pretty pretty solid episode, and and so far I'm still digging uh, uh, season two, and I I'm looking forward to who they're going to go after next. I'm not sure 
Uh, I'm not sure who's next, so I guess we'll find out in the next episode. That's going to be all for this edition of Cross and Streams. If you like what you've heard here, please subscribe to the Real Geno YouTube channel, like this video, and you have anything to say about episode two of season two of the Harley Quinn series entitled Riddle You, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Till next time, I am your host, the Real Geno, Geno Reynolds. See you later, puddins.